morning on a lovely December southwest morning. We're um, we're just south of home. Uh, just come out through Cable and um, heading further south. But today I'm on my own, so um, probably do something a little bit more technical than normal. And uh, I've actually got a a trail I picked up off uh, Southwest Adventure Riders. Uh, Ty, I think it was, picked up his GPX file that he shared, so we're going to go and give that a run today. So, um, magic day. I think the temp's only to be about 26, 27 today. Um, so, uh, should be alright. So, come along for the ride, we'll see what we can find. Alright, we're into something a bit more interesting now. Had just enough, just enough dry days, the sand is just soft enough. Soft sand and WA's fantastic loose pea gravel. No better combination. Hey. <laughs> Big lizard on the track there. Just about run him over. Could be a few of them out today, I reckon. That should let a bit more airflow in. Open all the pockets up. That's way better. There's another lizard. Number two for today. He not a bad size either. Hey mate. Just out having a bit of a sunbake. The terrain down through here is ever changing, eh? So we're sort of, I guess we're in between Bustleton and uh, and Nanup, if you take a really broad sort of a look at a map, I guess. And uh, you can have anything like the soft sand through to these, well now we're back on sort of pea gravel. And uh, down through here, there's lots of clay patches as well. Uh, it's all right in the dry, gets a bit, um, gets a bit challenging in the wet. Um, but if you're looking for somewhere to come and hone your skills, then uh, down here in the southwest has it all. There we go, nice little climb up here. Clay as well. So. All about line choice. Yeah, we just turned in onto uh, Margaret Road off Gel Barragup Road. Give those locals a bit of an idea where I'm at. Oh, here we go. Back into a bit of tighter twin track. Bit overgrown. Not too bad though, not too bad at all.
There we are, we've just come out and we're right against the side of Mowen Road. So Mowen Road basically heads between uh, Margaret River and Nanup. There we go. Kind of hoping that somewhere I can get out down here. Oh yeah. Nice gravel road, nice flowy, open corners. Beautiful. Uh, I think we're on uh, Lawson Road. I think it's the one we're on. Uh, turned off Mowen Road down onto Lawson. So, uh, yeah, nice, nice bit of road. All right, let's go and see if we can Get us on this drone. turn down into Adelaide Road. Now Adelaide Road has been uh, known for four-wheel drivers and things like that. I know the, the north section from here um, is pretty gnarly at the start and so as far as I know it's all blocked off for the four-wheel drives now. I don't know it could be open again. Uh, this bottom section can be a bit tricky too. There's a couple of big um, there's one big steep bog hole I think at the end of it here before you come out to Denny Road. So this will be a little interesting. Up on the pigs. It's been a while since I've actually done this this track. Not one to do in the wet. I know that. So this will uh, bring us out onto Denny Road. Uh, which runs alongside the, uh, the Blackwood River. Nice little downhill section here. 
bit rutted out, nothing too bad. Again, it's all about line choice. <laughs> Pick the wrong one and you end up in the shit. Nice big deep ruts in there. go dropping down again it's quite undulating through here sort of up and down and so this runs pretty much parallel with Sue's Road north south all very clay sort of base so in the wet it's uh, a whole different story rock garden down again Looking well ahead to see we, if my line's still good. Oh, big hole there, that would catch some out. I want to drop into that one. Oh, I could be wrong. The big hole must have been between where we come in and Denny Road because this is Denny Road. That's good. Happy days. Where are we going? Now yeah, along here. I wonder if we're gonna go, oh yeah, Great North Road down across the causeway on the river and out the other side. It'll be good, I'll put the camera on when we get back down there. Here we are, coming down into the um, causeway crossing down here on uh, Great North Road. So we've just turned off Denny Road, heading south. Uh, I don't know whether there'll be, I doubt there'll be any water across the, across the causeway here today. We haven't had a great deal of rain for a while, so... Alright, yourself? Yeah, good, bit. good place for a stop. Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Nice bike 
Thanks. <laughs> How you going? Ah oh, well, nice little stop at the uh, at the river. Splash a bit of water around. Chat with the blokes on the buddy push bikes. Nice trail down through here. Just coming out at the end of uh, Great North Road. Uh, this will bring us down onto. Oh shit, can't remember the name of the road now. Uh, maybe the Brockman Highway, I think. Just off the top of my head. We're only going to do a quick spin down here and then we're going to duck off to the right and uh, start tracking our way down towards Pemberton. Ah, here we go, just come into the Shire of Nanup and uh, caution on this piece of road for a squiggly line, so we like that, that's okay. I don't know whether it gets. Uh, whether it cuts down to a smaller type road or whether it stays like this. I've got no idea. I've never been down through here before. So. All right, just mosey on along here and see where this uh, where this road's closed or the bridge is out. Pretty sure we can still get through it. We've just come out to Scott. This is Scott Road here. Uh, Black Point, 25 k's that way. We come in Pneumonia Road, uh, and it looks like there's obviously a bridge or something out up here. I'm pretty sure we'll be able to get over that. So we'll uh, we're going to have a look in a minute here yeah, and just see what. Uh, so we're in the Don de Castro National Park. Oh, we, we're up here. Oh, there we go, Lake Jaspers. So, uh, off to the side there. And the Black Point comes down here and around. See? So we're actually going to duck back. So we're here, we're going to duck back out to here. And we're going to come down to about here somewhere. Come up and then round into Pemberton. Today, I don't fancy going that way to Black Point. Look at the sand. Not for me, not on this big bike. A few flies around. Alright, so we're heading that way. We'll uh, throw some gear back on and let's go and have a look, see what it's all about. Oops. Not bad, that's only the first overshoot for today, that's pretty good. <laughs> what do we got going on down in here? Nice little forward crossing. Just there. Oh, wow, that was pretty good. Nice trail, this will lead us back out to the highway, so I don't think it'll be too uh, too tricky from here on. 
Oh, that breeze is nice. How good are these trees, eh? If you've not been down in the southwest riding your bike, then uh, I suggest you get on it and get down here. So many great places to uh, to ride and have a look at. It's uh, yeah, great spot. Uh, well, just done a bit of a loop out there in the bush, headed back out, coming just come out of the bush and. Uh, Back out into a bit of uh, farmland or avocado farms. Um, it's pretty much just avocados by the look of it. Awesome, great ride. Great ride. Uh, big thanks to Ty and I think Brad as well from Southwest Adventure Riders. Uh, I think it's a bit of a blended track from the both of them. So um, yeah, well done boys, really good. Um, and uh, anybody else looking to uh, come and give it a crack uh, it's a great ride a couple of a couple of little tricky bits a bit of sand and like I say the, the terrain's amazing it's got just everything in it um, so if you're looking to you know brush up on your skills then uh, give this one a crack it's a beauty uh, is it big bike friendly well it depends on who's riding the big bike that's all I can say um, I think Ty was on a on a big 1200. I'm on a 1090, obviously. Um, so oh, me, yes, I'd say it's big bike friendly. There's a few patches that might get a bit sketch if you're not so confident on your big bike, but uh, that's how you learn. That's how you get better. Uh, this is a nice uh, nice end to the ride. This bitumen piece, nice sweepy. Uh, Sweepy corners, just a nice easy ride through the tall timbers, really good. Oh, the nice gravel roads with the big tall timbers is not over yet. Just turned off that sealed road and into another beautiful gravel road. Nice big tall trees. Heading towards Big Brook Dam. I don't know whether we'll get there or not. Oh, how good is this? I tell you, these big trees just don't get old, eh? You could just drive through them, ride through them all day, every day. There you go, this is Big Brook Dam, down in here. That'd be worth. That's worth a stop. We've been there. I've been there before, so I'm not going to stop today. Um, but uh, yeah, if you're if you're out here doing this and you come past Big Brook Dam, definitely make sure you stop and uh, have a look. Nice spot. Really nice spot. There we go, we can see on the map, just about into town now. So, uh, I'm gonna do a, uh, do my sign off for this trip. And uh, again, big thanks to the boys that put this one together. I've enjoyed it thoroughly, it's been great. Um, what have I done? 292Ks from, from Bunbury down here to Pemberton. Uh, I put an extra little piece in at the start to get me to uh, to the start of the to Ty's track, and uh, yeah, it's been good. Been good. So I'll have another couple of hundred k's to go home. So I'll just slab it up the highway. But uh, hope you enjoy this uh, enjoy this video. If you did, obviously hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Uh, go and check out. Uh, 
Regan Rides on socials uh, and also Regan Rides uh, dot online, which is our website. Uh, you can sign up to get notifications when a new blog comes out. Uh, you can, if you do sign up, uh, which is free, uh, you have access to GPX files that I put up there. Um, so yeah. Anyway, this is me. Get some fuel. Great day. Thanks, guys, and we'll see you on the next one. Over and out.